hi guys in today's video I'm going to be coming to you guys and giving you some tips and tricks um, as far as how to buy pre-owned or pre-loved authentic designer handbags online so if you're interested in seeing that continue to watch if you just stay subscribed for the makeup and this isn't your thing uh, yeah I know in like my last few handbag either reveals reviews or what's in my bag videos I have talked a little about how I buy a lot of my bags pre-owned now and I know some of you guys have asked me in the comments like where do you buy from and like I guess how you go about it so I just wanted to come today and give you guys my tricks um, and tips about how I buy confidently um, through online resellers or personal sellers. I have taken some notes down. First I'm just going to give you a little bit of background. I didn't always buy pre-owned but as prices are starting to increase I realized that you really will save a lot of money by buying pre-owned. Now of course if you don't like the thought of using something that someone else has previously used this might not be for you. I know it's extremely odd that I do this and I'm a really big germaphobe <laughs> but um you know once I get back I'll of course clean it in a safe way if I can but you know ultimately I just have to get over the fact that someone else's germs have been on it and are probably still on it um so some people may not be comfortable with buying pre-owned I am I'm all about getting a deal on something if you can and sometimes depending on what designer or specific item you're looking for, you can save upwards of like a thousand dollars. Especially if it's like a style that's not so popular or not a popular um, designer, you can really save a lot of money, especially if you do your research. So um, I mainly get my bags, yeah, all mine that are pre-owned from eBay. I have not gone through Fashion File or Yugi's Closet yet. Um, I've looked at them every now and then, but, you know, I'm a very methodical person. When I set out to buy a new handbag, it's not like I'm just walking into a store one day and I'm like, oh, that's really nice. I want it. Like, it takes me about a month to figure out what I want, decide which size, if it comes in multiple sizes, decide if that size would be towards my liking in terms of my lifestyle and what I want to use the bag for. And then I have to decide on the color. So I'm very methodical in, you know, larger purchases like these. So I like eBay just because most of the bags I'm into, there's like a wide variety of them always available on eBay. Um, so yeah, that's where I get my bags from. You can also shop at like your local thrift stores, um, consignment shops. I know there's a consignment shop or something kind of like it near a post office that I go to. And every time I drive by, I see really nice bags in the window, but there's no parking. <laughs> and like, I don't like parking in the city. So if there's really not a parking lot, I'm probably not going. But um, yeah, there definitely are other resellers that you can choose to shop from. I've also bought a bag from a friend before. You can definitely do that. Um, yeah, so those are just the different ways of like getting pre-owned, pre-loved bags. But I like to use eBay just because if I find a bag on Fashion File and I haven't decided that it's what I want, by the time I decide about it, it's going to be gone. Or if I see it, or if I know what I want, they probably don't have that particular bag. So it's kind of hit or miss with me. That's why I don't tend to look there. So my number one tip is going to be to do your research. I, because, like I said, because I'm so methodical, my research for in terms of bags or anything, it takes me a long time. And one of the biggest resources I think is the website, the Purse Forum. I think it's like... I think it's like forum.purseblog.com or something like that. But just go on Google and search the purse form. And they have, um, it's like, it's a forum basically. And they have, what do you call them? Postings where people will authenticate your bags for you. I have used that service, if you will. And there are also a couple people on there. They recommend that you can pay to have them authenticate the bags that you see on eBay. If you're buying from like Fashion File or Yugi's, those bags are already authenticated per the website. I have not bought from them, so I cannot tell you by experience. But with eBay, you can always have someone authenticate it or do your own research. I've done both. I've gotten so 
much into like Louis Vuitton, for example, that I kind of know what to look for. So you want to look at the rivets, the studs, you want to look at the markings. Louis Vuitton is never going to make a bag and have the LVs be cut off on a seam. Um, I know another thing is if the bag has a zip top, it will have like a pocket with no zip. So if there's a zipper on top, there won't be a zippered pocket and vice versa. If it is an open bucket tote, there will be a zippered pocket on the inside. An example being the Neverfull. It's a completely open bag, but there is a zip pocket in the inside. So stuff like that is always good to know. You of course want to know when you're looking for um, bags that are either limited edition or older styles. You want to know what year they came out in and you also want to know how to read a date code. I, I'm going to tell you how I do it. If this is wrong, I will add an annotation, but um, I believe like the first and third number are going to tell you the week that they were made in and the second and fourth will tell you the year. Um, and I think after a certain date, it went from the first and third being the month to the week. So that's just a little info as well. Certain bags are only made in certain countries. Certain accessories are more prevalent in Spain versus USA. And that's, a co that's with Louis Vuitton because that's what I know the most about. That's what I've done the most research about. And that's what I have the most bags of. So I'm just speaking from my personal experience. So you want to kind of get to know the markings of the bag, what the inside looks like kind of the structure of the bag and honestly if you if you are as methodical as I am just by kind of doing your research and watching reviews either on here on the purse form or um bags that maybe your friends have you're going to kind of get to know you know how a Louis Vuitton bag is structured what it's going to look like what it's going to feel like things like that so research is definitely key um, I know when I'm buying a bag on eBay, I will literally ask for, well, I'll go into that later, but I will look at the picture that they're selling versus a picture of an authentic and I will literally compare every little stitch, every little marking. You're also really going to want to pay attention to stitching. That's very important. Stitching should always be tight and neat with like no messy stitches overlapping each other, stuff like that. So another tip when you're shopping through eBay is to always check the seller feedback. Some of the things I look for are overall seller ratings. I usually would only want to buy from somebody with like 98 to 100% um, positive feedback. And not only the number, but you also want to click on their profile and see what the negative feedback was. Because... Well, I studied like statistics and research in school. So just like with anything, people are always going to have varying experiences and someone might rate something as a negative experience because the shipping took too long. So you want to make sure you look at all these things when looking at their positive score on eBay. You also want to look at how long they've been selling, although that may not always be an indicator of like whether or not you want to, whoa, I just watched my neighbor slip on a patch of ice. Well, that was awkward. So you also want to look at how long they've been selling. You want to also look and see what are the items that they're selling. If someone always sells Tonka trucks and one day they just have like an Hermes Birkin bag, that's going to be kind of suspicious. But if you kind of see that they're into selling things in the same likeness, fragrance, cosmetics, or you know, they sell maybe a Louis Vuitton bag every couple months. You definitely want to look at things like that. You also want to inquire about the seller's return policy. A lot of times, if they are selling an authentic bag, if you go yourself, get it authenticated, you can prove that it's not authentic, they will give you your money back. You can also always go through PayPal as well. But one thing I do want to mention, when you are buying through eBay, ask a lot of questions. Don't be afraid to ask a lot of questions. When you're spending more than like a hundred dollars on something the person who you're getting it from they should feel comfortable giving you all the information you want about their product that they're trying to get about their product that they're selling so ask a lot of questions ask for tons of pictures and make sure that the bag you are seeing in the pictures is a bag you're receiving so maybe take a screenshot of if they show you the serial number or like a couple of letters of the serial number just to make sure that they're not doing like a bait and switch when you do get your back because I have heard things like that happen even in like department stores people have returned fake items and people buy them. So you want to make sure you look at the pictures and if you can get a screenshot just so that you can compare the bag with the one that you do receive. And I would say the most important tip is to stick with your gut feeling. If you are looking for, I don't know, 
a really rare limited edition bag and you know that it once sold for a thousand dollars and the person is selling it for 200 and it was a very sought after piece take into the consideration the price sometimes people might just be selling items to get rid of them but it also could be just a scam so if oh <laughs> that was my shoe if you are weary about an item feel comfortable asking the person why they're selling it don't just be like why are you selling this at such a you know discounted price just say you know i'm just interested as to why you're parting with the bag it's such a lovely bag i can't imagine why somebody would want to give it up so you know there are ways to converse with the seller to make them feel um confident about selling you the bag and so that you feel comfortable as well um, so I think those are all the tips that I pretty much have for you guys. Basically just do your research, have the bag authenticated, try to know a little bit about what you're buying already. Um, and if all else fails, just ask all the questions <laughs> you want because it's really about you feeling satisfied and comfortable with your shopping experience. And if you don't want to go through all this, you can always shop through like Fashion File or Yugi's Closet, just a website that has already done all the hard work for you. But like I said, if you are like me and it takes you a while to find a particular bag, I like going the eBay route and there's usually lots of options. Like I know right now i'm looking for a red balenciaga city there are probably about 15 on ebay right now so um it's just all about taking the time out especially if you don't want to shop through an authorized retailer or reseller you can always just go the ebay route which is personally what i like but do do your homework um for the most part on bag styles that i know about i've gotten good enough to where i can tell just by looking at it and looking at the detail whether or not it's authentic and yeah I make my decisions that way so I hope this video was informative to those of you who inquired about how I get my bags pre-owned pre-loved where I buy them and all that good stuff if you do have any additional questions please feel free to leave them below and I will see you guys and talk to you in my next video bye